So you've done a ton of work in Japan and there's kind of this legendary clip of you and Paul Gilbert together on a show. When was the first time you met Paul? Oh, wow. I've known Paul forever. Um, even back in the shrapnel days on the show I did a long time ago, Paul um, came on a couple times and uh, it was always great to have him on there and um, super, super player and super guy, really Easy to uh, uh, get to do crazy things because that the show that we did was uh, there was a lot of uh, joking around and a lot of uh, taking the piss at things and uh, and uh, if you're like a really serious musician type, it's not going to be the type of show to, <laughs> to go on because we were just basically making fun of everything, but you know, with, uh, with, uh, all the best intentions, but it was kind of almost like British humor in a way that it's very, um, it's, it's kind of can get nasty sometimes, but it's all still with good heart, but it's like, it's funny. You know what I mean? Like friendly roasting. Yeah. 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 A lot of that. So, um, and a lot of taking the piss at yourself. And so if you're try to go on a show like that and you have an agenda promoting your record or whatever tour, whatever, if that's just what it is, it won't work. But Paul was really good about uh, just going with the flow. And, um, you know, there's a lot of silly game playing and stuff and typical Japanese stuff. But uh, it, it was a, a good a good show. We had a lot of really cool guests on that show. And Did you and Paul ever talk about doing a tour or doing something together? Because it seems kind of a natural fit, the two of you. We probably have. Um, uh, we actually just played at the same event um, this year in Norway, uh, Norway Guitar Festival in uh, March. And uh, we probably have. I mean, there's so many things that I don't, I don't even remember. <laughs> so there's never been like a sort of G3 kind of talk with you two guys and somebody else or anything? Not that I can immediately think of, but we've probably done an event or something together and i was gonna ask you about buckethead I, w whether you are aware of buckethead or not because we do a lot of stuff on our channel about him not really i know um i've heard his music before but i, I don't know him and uh, i've never crossed paths with some super guitar player though that's for sure so you've never considered like burn a bucket on or mask or getting some nunchucks or anything no, I'm not. I'm not really um, that crazy, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. But uh, it works for him, and I, what I heard him play was really super. So uh, it's all good. Yeah. So Bucket was like, "Oh, this is called Ham and Noodle. We <laughs> we made that album in real time when we went. I went back to the studio that night. Even the one with Melissa, you know, the three of us was all done with like watching movies." We would just go get like the craziest movies and we would just watch them and then play.